Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi. Today we are going to take this a cake base and make a beautiful wall hanging out of it. For this we are going to take the opposite side of the cake base and we are going to cover it with gesso. Once the gesso is dried completely, we are going to take blue color and dab it on the border of the cake base with sponge. Once the border is done, we are going to fill the inner of the circle with a blue, a little lighter shade of blue. We are trying to give it a sky look, so we are going to keep the blue as light as possible. After covering the entire cake base with the blue, we are going to take white on the sponge and we are going to try and make clouds on it. Now we are going to take some water in a bowl and uh, make tiny tiny pieces of a tissue paper and soak it in the water. We are going to remove it out and add some fevicol in it and mix it well. Once the tissue paper turns into a paste like texture, we are going to separate it and add color to it. We are going to add the different colors that we need for our painting. As you can see I have drawn a small house on our cake base. We are going to take the tissue and fill this house with it. After the house is done, we are going to take a slightly darker shade of blue and we are going to give a border to our cake base. Once everything is dried completely, we are going to add strings to this house and for that I have applied fevicol and I have taken thread. My thread has become very fine so it is hardly visible in the painting but if you are doing this, I suggest that you take a little thicker thread. Once all the threads are added, I am going to take buttons here. This I have got from Mr. DIY and I'm going to apply fevicol to it and stick it on our cake base. As all of you all must have guessed, I am trying to give this a look of the balloons. So I'm going to stick different different shapes and different different color buttons and try to give it a bunch of balloons look.
once all the buttons are fixed we are going to let it dry completely and to hang this wall hanging I'm going to take a paper pen and fix it with clay so that it is quite steady after the hook is dried and, and applying one coat of varnish let's have a final look I've been around but I can't get you out of my head try to stray try to forget but the thoughts they seem to drown me instead I've always wondered what it takes to fill this empty void inside but now I feel so that's all for today please like share and subscribe for more such easy DIYs bye bye